Hello and welcome to Laura Fenn Gaming Plays Number One Tonight Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Laura Fenn. In today's Number One Tonight Enhanced Edition guides, I'm going to show everybody Chapter One recipe of the Forge ingredients, their location, and what you can make from the recipe of the Forge. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Number One Tonight content like this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be alert on more of my videos. Now, for the recipe of the uh, Forge, you're going to need a magical weapon plus one or magical armor. I'll show everybody which one of those uh, items you need. Their location is in the docks. I'll show everybody where this is at in a bit. So first you put the uh, magical item of your choice and the ingredient of your choice right here. This is a demonstration of it right here. Once you do that, talk to the dwarf right here and pay 500 gold pieces and then he will uh, make the item for you. This is really uh, simple to do right here. So now the first section of the video we're actually going to be talking about is the uh, docks. Since the demonstration of the recipe of the forge is done, I'm sure everybody where the magical weapons and armor is at in the uh, docks. In the docks districts, the magical weapons and armor shop is in 20 in a quiver. Yes, that's the uh, shop where it's at. This is also the same shop where you buy the smuggler coins. So you go to shop like normal, pick the normal option, your standard wares right here. You see magical weapons and armor. That's where you get to buy unlimited amount of them as long as you have the money, of course. My advice on that is just pick which one you really want. Just use my guide to help you out on that. So next up, what I'm going to do right now is uh, show everybody what you should have for your ingredients for this uh, chapter before the point of no return. Now for this chapter, you should have three amantites, two diamonds, two dragon blood, one special holy water, two fairy dust, one gargoyle skull, and one ironwood. So here's the location of those next. So now we're going to talk about each location of the ingredients. And Mattite location, word of caution, there's only three in the game. They're all in chapter one. The first one's in no man's land. We have to defeat Loazar right here. Once you defeat Loazar right here, wait for his body to disappear and loot his body up. That's the first Mattite right there we're going to get. Don't forget to loot the head and turn it in too. So that is number one. Now on to number uh, two. Now next one, Olaf will have an Amantite. However, you want to say before speaking with them when you turn the Tomb of Never's final item. Yeah, you want to make sure you uh, do that because if you uh, mess up, you miss out on this Amantite, which is number uh, two right there. So remember, Persuasion Talks, if it's successful, you'll get the Amantite from the uh, Persuasion check. The last one's inside the Neverwinter Zoo in Black Lake District. We have to kill Montgomery, Shershot, Weatherson. Yeah, just simply loot the corpse up and that is it for the third and final Amantite. Diamond locations, there's only two of them in this chapter. That's the uh, good news. Now the first one's in the uh, Blood Sailor's hideout right there with a deadly trap. Send your hint person over to rig the trap. Open it up, grab the diamond, and that is it right there. Then revive the henchman. If not, just use range to take out the trap. Say before turning this Moonstone art quest is once you turn in the third and final quest, Ophelia will have an option to uh, persuade her of her uh, diamond. You must make sure your persuasion check is there. If not, you'll miss out on your diamond. If you get it, then you got the second diamond of uh, chapter one. Remember, say before talking. Dragon blood locations. There are exactly two in this chapter and are easy to get. The first dragon blood is in the Silver Sails attic. It is a trap chest, so send someone over to open it up. You disarm it or other factors to safely get the dragon blood. That's the first one right there. In Black Lake District and Melodan Sanctum, you can loot this before talking to the dryads right there in this apparatus right there. Real easy to get. Really easy to get. See? We're going to grab it now. Fairy Dust Location. Great news. There are exactly two in this chapter. In the Beggar's Nest and Shrills of Bakery, all you need to do is just loot this cabinet up and the fairy dust is right there. This is real easy to get. In the docks file right here where you try and get the Ward Davian ingredient, just defeat this guy right here. Once you defeat him and his henchmen, you simply loot the body up for the second fairy dust of chapter 1. This one's really easy to get. Now Gargoyle Skull, there is only one in this chapter right here. In the beggar's nest inside the snake cult estate, just bust open this uh, drawer right here with your uh, henchman yourself or both of you or use a thief to uh, bust it open. Once you uh, do that, simply uh, get the remains right there and there's the gargoyle skull for the uh, chapter. There's only one. Special holy water. There is two, however, we're going to only talk about one. 
The reason why we're only talking about one because the second one's at the point of no return. We need to defeat Gullinan right here. After she is done talking, her body disappears. Simply loot up the body. Yes, you'll get her heart and the special holy water. Really easy to get. The second one for this chapter is in Helm's Hold, which is a point of no return. That defeats the purpose. So this is the only one in this chapter, really. There's only one Ironwood location in the entire chapter, and you need to save before talking to the druid who gave you the zoo quest. So, when the persuasion option is up, make sure you do it. If you succeed, you'll instantly get Ironwood right there. If not, reload your save. This is the only one in this chapter, so pick wisely on the weapon or armor you want to make. This next section will cover combinations for the recipe of the forge. All you need is the magical weapons and armor, plus the ingredient and 500 gold. Now this first section is the armor section I'll be covering in the video. When you combine breastplate plus one and a diamond in the forge, pay 500 gold to the NPC, you'll get chromatic breastplate right there. It's a really decent item. Next up is scale mail plus one and special holy wire right there. When you combine those two, you will get the scales of truth right there. That is not a bad armor piece. Last but not least, if you have Leather Armor plus one and Gargoyle Skull, you will get the White Bone Armor. It's a very powerful armor piece. This next section I will cover is Axe Combos right here. When you have a Battle Axe plus one plus Amantite and you pay 500 gold pieces to get this done, you will get Sentinel plus one. This is a decent Battle Axe right here. When you combine the Double Axe plus one and Amantite piece right here, you will get the axe for the uh, tall kin right here. When you combine a great axe plus one and amantite, you will uh, definitely get the stone fire axe. It's a decent fire axe. Next up is hand axe plus one and dragon's blood. The combination of that will be ice reaver, a decent uh, ice axe. Next uh, section is maces and blunt weapons for combinations. First up is Club Plus One and Ironwood. When you combine those two together, you will get Gladiator Club Plus One. Decent club. Next up is Dire Mace Plus One and Ironwood. When you combine those two right there, you should get Ironwood Mace. Decent uh, Dire Mace. Next up is Heavy Frail Plus One and Dragon's Blood. When you combine the two, you will uh, get the Reaver Plus One. It's a decent Heavy Flail right there. Next up is Light Hammer plus one and a diamond. When you combine the two right there, you should get Storm plus one. Not a bad electrical weapon. Next up is Light Frail plus one and Ironwood. When you combine the two right there, you'll get the Light Frail Foundation right there. Not bad at all. Now next up is Mace plus one and Special Holy Water. When you combine the two, you'll get Mace of Disruption plus two. Plus two against Undead. Next up is Mooring Star plus one and Fairy Dust. When you combine the two, you'll get Drone. That's a decent weapon right there. Last but not least, Warhammer plus one and Amantite. When you combine the two right there, you'll make Rune Hammer plus one. That's a good Warhammer. This section next up will cover Swords and Blades combinations. When you combine Greatsword plus one and Amantite, when you combine the two right there, you will get Harbinger Kin plus one. That's a good uh, Greatsword with fire on it. Next up is Katana and Amantite. Now when you combine the two, you'll uh, get Sword Saint Legacy. That's great against evil for a Katana. Now next up is Longsword plus one and a Diamond. Now when you combine the two right there, you'll get Astral uh, Blade. That's a good Longsword right there. Now, next combination is Rapier and Dragon's Blood. When you combine those two items together, you'll get Never Sleep. That's a good Rapier. Next up is Scrimitar and Amantite. Now, when you combine the two right there, you will get Desert Wind plus one. That is a very good Scrimitar with fire properties. Now, next up is Short Sword plus one and Fairy Dust. When you combine the two right there, you'll uh, get uh, Fae Duster. That's not a bad Short Sword. When you combine two-bladed sword and ironwood, when you get that, you'll get the Guard Ceremonial Blade. It has Keen on it, which is really good. Last section is Miscellaneous Weapons. There's only four of them in this section here. 
when you combine a halberd plus one and dragon's blood and when you combine those two weapons together you will get ravager plus one that's a decent two-handed weapon there Next up is a Slythe and Amantite. Now when you combine those two ingredients together, you will make Sea Reaver plus one. That's not a bad uh, Slythe at all. Next up is Spear plus one and Fairy Dust. When you combine those two together, you will actually get Face Spear plus one. That's a good spear right there. Last but not least is a Sickle plus one and Special Holy Water. When you combine those two together, you'll get the Golden Sickle. It's not bad Sickle at all. Now, if you don't see any weapons like daggers, ranged weapons, baster swords, or any weapons from Shadows of Undertime or Hordes of the Underdark or anything else added, unfortunately, you cannot use the recipe of the Forge to combine those. Now, my final advice is, is pick which ones you want to combine since ingredients are rare in this game, especially Amantite. Hold on your Amantite for later on chapters, such as Chapter 3. So, for now, if you have three of them, well, guess what? Just make one weapon or armor of your choice and then save the other two for chapter three. That is it for my recipe of the forge guide. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.